Good morning to one and all. Today I would like to start the lesson Laura. It's written by Saki or H.H. H. Munro. So let us discuss about the author. Saki is the pen name of H.H. H. Munro. He was born in 1870 and died in 1916. <coughs> He was better known by the pen name Saki and also frequently as H.H. H. Munro was a British writer. He was famous for his witty, mischievous and sometimes macabre stories satirized Edward, Edwardian society of England and its culture. He is considered by the by English teachers and scholars as a master of the short story and often compared to the famous writer Omar Henry and Dorothy Parker. He was influenced by Oscar Wilde, Lewis, Lewis Carroll and Rudyard Kipling. He himself influenced A. A. Mellon, Noel Coward and P. G. Woodhouse. So, he, his full name is Hector Hugh Munro. Okay, let us come to the title of this lesson. Laura is a humorous short story by Munro. He wrote under the pseudonym of Saki. It is a pseudonym name or pen name. <clears throat> the story first appeared in the Morning Post. It was later collected in the anthology Beast and Super Beast. It has since appeared in many anthologies. So, the title of the character is Laura. She is a mischievous woman who believes in reincarnation. She thinks she will be reborn into a lower organism form in her next incarnation. Because she has misbehaved in this life. She discusses her belief with Amanda, whose husband has been an unfortunate victim of Laura's antics. After Laura's death, Amanda quickly becomes a firm believer in reincarnation. Now let's move to the summary of this lesson. Laura was seriously ill. Her doctor suggested that she would leave till Tuesday, but till Saturday she was alive. Okay. Amanda told her not to be serious about her death, but Laura was vindictive and mischievous and petty. <coughs> she would all okay. She would always troubled Amanda's husband, Esbert. Okay. And she admitted that Amanda's husband, Esbert, was the exenting circumstance. Because of his irritating behavior, Laura did some mischievous things to him. One day she took her puppy is from the farm out for the run and the, she took those puppies to chase the young Sussex, speckled Sussex means hens and drove them off their nests besides running all over the flower beds and they, they were troubled by Laura and Laura. So, Laura accepted her mischievous deeds, but however, she said that by troubling her husband, it was the right thing. After saying so, she was unrepentant or you can say she was not feeling sad about her deeds. <coughs> Later, <coughs> Laura hard to die. But before that she said that she, she personally thought that she would become an author 
in her next re next birth uh, or next reincarnation okay because by being an otter she would rather enjoy by eating salmon and move move all around there and enjoy beside ba- in the bank of stream <coughs> so the, by this uh, amanda was shocked amanda was telling if she would become an otter definitely otter hounds would come and attack attack her but she but laura did not mind all these things and she continued that she would become a good otter and she would do the good things later in her second reincarnation she would become a primitive little brown unclothed nubian boy this all okay shocked to amanda amanda sighed but she could not do anything after okay on monday laura died then she was very upset i mean amanda and told to her uncle in law sir lalwarth about laura okay then uncle in law said that laura was very very hurtful woman okay she did many mischievous things okay and she was somewhat insane or mad because of her deeds at the same time while they were talking esbert came by the <coughs> breakfast room with his bereavement clothes and brought a bad news that her four speckled sussex had been killed and his flower bed was totally destroyed okay this thing shocked amanda as well as mr lalworth they looked each other in a, in a secretive eyes later <coughs> later um, lalworth told that even in her funeral ceremony laura was had no common sense and she had no etiquette to give honor to her own okay funeral ceremony <clears throat> afterwards what happened esbert promised that definitely she would overcome with that beast who came and attacked who came and attacked the four hens or you can say speckled sussex and killed them <coughs> finally finally uh, amanda's husband esbert um, went along with some people workers i mean workers and finally he found sorry this is the author finally he found to to he searched the author but could not find one day the author came <coughs> to the larder and ate many salmons and many scales were fallen on the mat fallen on the mat okay by this amanda also got angry with this finally esbert went along with the villagers in search of in search of the otter to kill okay <coughs> then after some time aurora barrett the neighbor as well as the friend of amanda came 
with the news that the otter was killed amanda was shocked with this amanda was unable to recover from this shock immediately as but took his wife amanda to the nile valley so that she could recover from the illness gradually she was recovering from the illness okay wa wow. <coughs> one day they were in the cairo hotel okay one boy came and threw his shirts and other things into the bath tub this made very much angry to the esbert to esbert and he shouted like anything okay again as soon as the sound was heard amanda came and looked at it amanda laughed then amanda asked him who the who the person did this then <coughs> amanda's husband said that it was done by a little beast of a naked brown nubian boy this um, made amanda a great shock this made amanda a great shock and she was very seriously ill in this the lesson ended what's the theme of this lesson so the theme is of freedom reincarnation conformity acceptance revenge mortality and connection these are taken from his sakis complete short story collection the story is narrated in the third person by an unnamed narrator and after reading the story the reader realizes that sakki may be exploring the theme of freedom laura is here laura is naturally a free spirit something that is noticeable by the fact that she likes to make her own rules about how she should live in her life however one noticeable constant in laura's life is the fact that she likes to seek revenge on those who have injured her personally so something that is noticeable when it comes to esbert the husband of amanda thank you for watching this